In this tutorial in CyberLink PowerDirector, we're going to look at a particle effect in your effects room called the bubble. As we go through each of these effects, you'll find that some of them are kind of whimsical and odd and maybe useful in a more of an amusing way, and some of them have some serious application in uh, more serious kinds of uh, video production. And so if you see an application for any of these that I miss, I'd love to have your feedback on how to use these either in a fun way or in a serious way. So we're going to go through them and we're going to start out with the first one alphabetically in my particle uh, section called bubble. Now I have a whole host of items on track number two so we can see how the effect uh, impacts all of the tracks above it, which is what the effect does. So I'm going to take the bubble. I could drag it to the track, but there's an easier way to do it. I click on it, and then I have this, this add effect to track. Now, wherever my scrubber is, if I simply click here, it will add it to the track. And I'm going to lengthen it so I can see uh, how it affects the things above it. Before we do anything with it, I'm going to put it put my scrubber right here and show you some things that we can do to adjust the bubble. If I double click on it, there are some things I can change. I can change the smallest size. It starts out at 40. The largest size, which is 100. If I make them identical, there will only be one size. I can change the density, which is the number on the screen, how many bubble up from the bottom. I can't control the direction or anything. They just start at the bottom and work their way to the top. And I can change the 3D depth as well. I also have a keyframe option which allows me to change all of these four features over time. Well, Let's start out by just showing you what it looks like. Um, I, I find these particular previews to be unhelpful. So I'll click here and this is what I see on my screen in the preview. They just kind of slowly drift from bottom to top in several different sizes between 40 and 100. Now if I go ahead and change the density, you notice it adds a lot more. And now the screen is virtually filled with bubbles if I move it up here. If I change it to the large, if I down downgrade the largest size, uh, to something like this and you can actually go in here and do it by number uh, they're more uniform and so if I click here uh, that's what I have I can't can't control the speed just the size largest and smallest the density and the depth and this is what it looks like when there's nothing in the track above it now let's see what it looks like when we have other things above it first we're going to look at text then we're going to look at a video, and then we're going to look at an object. So we'll play this here. And when I have text above it, what it does is it replicates the entire screen, background included. Since there's no background, it tells me I have a 50% savings here. And if I were to do this, I probably would make the size of the bubbles bigger, both the smallest and the largest and I would probably decrease the number so I could do that. But notice it does overwrite. It's in front of my 50% savings when the bubbles come in front of the text there. This is one application I thought that might be somewhat useful in a commercial. And here again, now I put a color board behind my text to change both the color of the, it changes the color of the bubble and uh, the color of the background. So that would be a, another possible use for the bubble effect if you wanted to promote something. You can't show part of the screen, it's the entire screen captured in those bubbles. Now you'll see what happens when you do it in a video. It takes the entire video and converts it into bubbles overlaying the video. You can't just separate the two. And the next is an object. Now notice what happens here with the object. It uh, changes its proportion to fit in the circle. So because this is not a square um, screen behind me, I'm 16 by 9, uh, it, it does distort the proportions of the object, but it does put it in the bubble. 
And so I'd be curious to know if you can think of another way in which you might want to use this particular uh, effect, uh, either in a serious atmosphere or in a playful one. Uh, but these are some of the ways in which uh, you can use the bubble special effect and the particles uh, in order to augment what you want to do in CyberLink PowerDirector.